Taking out your soldiers as I raid and pillage Bringing you to your knees as I raise this village When they ask, let them know I am overflow Let's get on a sniper roll First off guys, this commentary is sponsored by Smash, a new TV show by Steven Spielberg. You can click the link below to see the very first episode, it's available exclusively online. Don't forget to let them know that Overflow sent you there, and if you like what they got, go ahead and sub them up. Now guys, to get on to the gameplay, let's say what we're doing here today on V-I-L-L-A-G-E with me. Don't you see? I'm about to tear up this other team, guys. Alright, that rhymed accidentally. What's up? Chris Smoove, how are you? 32 days, I believe, is your time off PSN. How are you doing it, man? That's crazy. Anyway, guys, actually, I took a little break myself. I have not played Modern Warfare 3 in about four days. I've been playing Battlefield a little bit more. But playing Modern Warfare 3 a little bit now, more, you know, I got Battlefield. And it just, I love the sniping in Battlefield, you guys. I'm really digging it. And, you know, for me, if the spawns were fixed in Modern Warfare 3... I would love it, but sometimes it gets a little bit frustrating when I just want to snipe and do my thing thing. Now, this spot on Village is actually, to me, it's really kind of, um, I want to say it's underestimated because you think you're on top of a hill, it's out in the open. If you're a noob, you'll probably go there. No offense if any of you guys go there, but most of the time you see like brand new people will go right up there just to look around. And for me, it was a noob thing, and then I realized, oh... You know, that's on the top of a place where everybody can see you. But then after examining it again, this little hilltop up here is a really nice place to camp out and snipe. And, you know, it, you know, it's been working pretty good for me whenever I play Village. And I'm really enjoying it. Go ahead and try the spot out yourselves. And remember, you got the rocks for cover. So you got this rock, and then you got the rock to your left. If people start taking the A flag, you can kind of switch it up, hide behind the rock. Also, I want to let you guys know about TSP, Tactical Sniper Positioning. I actually am completely ready to start putting out the episodes. The only problem is I'm looking for somebody to make me an intro for Tactical Sniper Positioning. And I want it to be really clean, you guys. So I'm just kind of looking for that just to up the quality on those videos. But they're pretty much ready. So how many of you guys are excited for TSP? Let me know in the comments below. And actually, since we're on that subject or on the subject of comments, I, I got a question for you guys. How many of you guys watch the gameplay as you listen to the commentary? And how many of you guys just listen to the commentary and do something else as you listen to it? Just let me know. I'm interested in seeing your responses. Also, you guys, don't forget to spread this around. This was my last video. I'm going to link it on screen. It is the, for the channel exposure. I've already had 60 people um, ask for the information about it. So I believe 60 people are competing. And so if you want to join in, you better join in. Competition starts Friday. Or the first part of the competition, at least, as you know, as you guys know, there will be um, a top. This is the first part of the competition this weekend, Friday, January 27th, and that's going to determine who will be in the top 10. And top 10 will get promos on the channel, and it's going to be a lot of fun. It's going to be like a commentator buffet. You guys are going to totally enjoy it. You guys, all you guys who watch the videos are going to. I think that you guys are going to have a lot of fun with it. And I'm going to need your help during it, you guys. So we got to work together, of course. And I think that my subs. My flows are definitely better than a lot of, you know, you guys really, when I ask you guys for help, you guys actually put your whole heart into it and really help me out. And I'm just looking forward to working with all of you guys. I appreciate it, you guys. So click on that link up in the upper, we'll go with left-hand corner. Click in the upper left-hand corner to go check out that channel exposure video. If you have a channel and you want some exposure, or if you just know some other commentators that might need a little bit of exposure, check it out. Don't forget about that. Also, you guys, I have to say that one more thing. There's one more thing going on. One more thing. Hold on. Let me think. Oh, yeah. The Overt Show. Don't forget, Overt Show is restarting this Friday. So you gonna, you have to send your questions in, guys. Send them in by, uh, you know, send them in around Wednesday night, Thursday morning, whatever that is. Go ahead and send in all your questions then. And remember, the Overt Show actually is you send me a question on PSN or Xbox I'll link my, uh, or I'll put my gamer tag and my PSN in the description below. All you guys do is send me a message. It can be about anything. It can be about life. It can be about gaming. It can be about, you know, girls. It can be about guys. It can be about working out. It could be about cars. Whatever you questions you got that you want me to answer for you, 
send them to me on PSN or Xbox. I'll put my PSN and gamer tag below so that you guys can do that. Also, I've been getting a lot of questions like, "Hey, over at Flow, what kind of uh, what do you what are you working out?" As you guys know, I'm really into the gym and you know bodybuilding and all that. And actually, I'm just coming off of an injury that put me out for about five months, and I've been working out for about. I'd say a month, I've been working out probably three months very lightly and for the past month I've actually been able to work out a little bit harder. So that kind of put a wrench in the works you could say, but I'm, you know, I'm back to working out. I'd say I have, I'm, I'm at about 70% strength is what I'm, so what, if I had to have an estimate, I'm at about 75% strength and you know, I don't know, I get a lot of people asking me, hey, you know, what's your workout split? How do you do it? Well, personally for me, at this point, before I worked out four or five days a week, depending on the week, and I, you know, did a split for everything, but now that I'm just getting back into the gym, I'm actually doing full body every time I go to the gym, because as you know, if you've been in the gym for a few years, or if you're just planning to get started, full body training is definitely the best way to go, because when you're new or when you're just getting back to the gym, full body training will give you the most growth and the, it's just more effective overall than doing single muscle training. And that's how it is. So I'm doing full body. Like for example, today I'm actually about to go to the gym right after I finish recording this. Today I'm going to be doing full body, of course, and I'm going to be doing, I'm kind of limited because I'm only at 70% strength about, you know, I'm kind of limited in certain things that I can do because of my injury. For those of you who are wondering, I had a shoulder slash back injury from a fall in jiu-jitsu so that's what happened there but either way I'm going to the gym right after this and what I'm doing I'm actually gonna start off with a little bit of deadlifting and from there I'm gonna go move over to the flat bench press then I'm gonna do hammer and regular curls then tricep push downs and overhead extensions from there I'm gonna finish off with a little bit of shoulder flies and tummy so that's what I'm doing for all you guys who are interested in you know how I'm working out for you guys who how many of you guys are actually, how many of you guys get in the gym and work out and all that stuff? How many of you do that? I'm just really curious. And also, if you guys are interested in any really good, like, bodybuilding type movies or things centered around that, make sure, I'm sure this, ever, most of you guys must know this. It's a classic. Uh, Pumping Iron with Arnold Schwarzenegger and all those other guys. Arnold Schwarzenegger. And also, if you've ever seen the movie Bigger, Faster, Stronger, I really believe that that movie is pretty awesome. It's about kind of steroids and bodybuilding and wrestling and sports and all that it's really an interesting thing anyway guys that's what i want to say about that now let's talk a little bit about the gameplay this was a tactical sniper gameplay more tactical than you see on most other channels at least i hope you guys enjoyed it and i believe the final score here is going to be about 36 and 3 pretty decent score overall it's kind of modern warfare 3 is really weird for tactical sniping as you guys know because you'll get you'll like get a kill streak going and then bam somebody will spawn behind you but you know i make do with what i got i'm really excited to get out these tactical sniper positioning episodes honestly because i know how much you guys love them and i'm i'm just excited for the response i'm excited for you guys to see some of my ideas and stuff and modern warfare 3 was a little bit harder to make the episodes for but it's still you can still get it off not as good as black ops though but i still am excited to push it out so to push it out push out the commentaries that sounded like i was having a baby anyway i'm still excited to push out this baby of a commentary tactical sniper positioning just looking for the intro anyway you guys i hope that you guys enjoyed the video i love you and i am overt and out